It's I, okay, baby. Uh, yeah, it's okay yeah. to get emotional. It was, it was a touching movie in the end. Though. Yes. So, Fiona Shaw Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, 2021 has come to a close, and we watched so many movies this year. I'm really shocked. Actually, we even pulled it off because we're going to do our top 10 list here, our top 10 favorite. And I was almost certain, I was just putting together, I was like, I don't think we saw 10 movies this year. But you know, we watched quite a number of movies. Hell yeah. A lot. A lot. It's almost as if we didn't care if we were going to get sick. We were going to go out, sit in a public (laughs) arena and let people cough around us as long as we're having a good time. The vast majority of the movies, except for maybe the final one, which was like Spider-Man that we saw, the movie theaters were empty. So we were the only ones who uh, are committed to the craft, if you will. This is the bottom bucket. Now, you you tell me if this is an accurate capture of the bottom five bucket. And you tell me what's different (laughs) compared to yours. So my five bottom bucket of the top 10 that cracked it is Black Widow. That's wait, say that again. Are you doing it on? (laughs) I I get too excited. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Those, those ranks. Okay. 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 Well, one of them is Black Widow. Okay. All right. The other one, Free Guy. Really? I thought it was, actually, I really enjoyed it, but I don't think it was top for me. Like, I honestly think back and I'm like, I can't quite remember a lot of the details. It was maybe because I actually thought I was going to see another movie and we couldn't get it. So we watched that instead. So I wasn't quite mentally ready for it. I know I'm a gamer and I should have loved it. But you know what? I, I feel like that way about actually a lot of Ryan Reynolds movies. Beyond maybe Deadpool, where it really brings out his character of what he is and the way he acts. I find him as an actor to be kind of samey samey. He does the same sort of shtick every single time. I feel like the, that same thing with Free Guy. Got, got it. I, I do like Taiki Waikiki though in that world. He was he was pretty cool. Very clever twist of a video game designer. Uh, the other one, which I thought was, you had to watch in the theater, but it ultimately was, uh, it left me with more questions than answers was Godzilla versus Kong. Oh. Really enjoyed that movie, but uh, it was like, all right, what where do they come from yeah you know what where's his kin what like what there's too many of those questions that they left open and they didn't answer it and they should have yeah yeah the story i wasn't really into the story was a little bit iffy yeah. on that one too. but yeah. you know what the, it's just such a great movie to see on the big screen yeah and uh, i'm glad i did so for me it made my top 10 i just enjoyed yeah. it as a good popcorn fest like, <laughs> and i think i actually did get popcorn and that but that particular one, I never get popcorn. I think so, 10 yeah. bucks a bucket of popcorn is the same. Yeah, and I hate having someone sitting next to me eating, eating, basically eating. I'm focusing, okay? And the other one, which I think uh, is going to rile a lot of people up, but it didn't make my top five, was Dune. Dune what? is like number six for me. Yeah. I, you know what? Uh, There's the, two that you mentioned that was that's on my top five. <laughs> well, Dune, the problem with Dune for me was... Uh, should they should have completed? Like I was expecting a finale that was least tied up. I know they well, already they told want you. you have I, another I, I, movie. I, I get it. I get it. But as a movie, as its own, and that's how I judged it. I'm like, no, nah, not not like this. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> not like you this. You just said the ending was like it's just the beginning. <laughs> just, that that's bull. That's bull crappy. <laughs> All right. So which one of yours made it in then? All right, well, my... I guess Dune made your top five. So, yes. what, so what was the other... Okay, the, rather than say that, you mentioned that there are two movies that I that didn't make my top five that made your top five. Yeah. Okay. Dune, Black I guess, Black Widow, one. yes. And, and Black Dune. Widow. Yeah. Okay, Dune, why did it make your top five? I'm shocked because you can't even tell me the plot. <laughs> no, I really enjoyed the story. It was refreshing, kind of. It was new to me. To be honest, I was confused. I really wanted to read the book, but I kind of get it because I was reading articles and stuff like that. I was even talking to, you know, other people about it at work. So, <laughs> yeah, I really love it. I, I like it. Yeah, I think it's on my top, what, three. <laughs> top three even. Yeah. Even yeah. without closure of what happened, you think it's yeah, enough? Yeah, because, well, I already knew that there's a lot of books, right? They're you not, were crazy. You were okay with the way it. they ended in the movie. Like the payoff well, was there. For well, you. it was painful the ending. Yes, because I was like, so they that's didn't. It. The you know, they're gonna. The yeah, yeah. That's so the that, ending. Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the top five. Okay. You know what? The one that made it for me is top five versus Dune instead. 
was Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad for me. Really? Yep. Because one is, this is a movie that didn't have any expectation. People thought this was going to bomb. Like, why even remake this? Who are these characters who cared? And I'll tell you, James Gunn totally changed my expectation. Like, like people dying left and right, the twist, the storyline. Like, I really cared for the character. And the ending, I mean, it, it should have been totally campy. You were really invested with them finding off a gigantic ass starfish <laughs> with fucking rats. I'm like, wow, kudos, wow. James <laughs> You'll make my top five. I'm giving you credit for making this a worthwhile venture to the movie theater. So it, wow. I know. I'm shocked. I thought about it. I thought about it. I'm like, Dune cannot beat this. He did the unthinkable. Although I'll give you know the director credit for Dune. It is a very hard movie to make good. And what was there was amazing. I, I will say that if it was a two part, if I were to gauge as a two part, it probably would have been number one or two for me. It would have been that high, but it fell off because of that. So, Black Widow. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Of course, you should not yeah, question that. I, I'm surprised that if you say it's in your top five, considering we have Disney Plus, why haven't you watched it again? I did watch it again. Oh, you did? But just for the fighting part. All right. I would love to watch it again. Fair enough. It, it, it was a... For me, it didn't make it. There was just something... I like Yelena. I like the new characters. I like the premise. But the fact that you have all these Black Widows in the end who are, you know, like supposed to be super powerful, equal, at least, with Scarlett Johansson. And she takes them all down in one like three minute scenes. I'm like, I'm well, like that's it. That's the finale. Literally, the the climax the of the Avenger. movie was like, <laughs> oh yeah, she's an adventure. I'm an adventure. I'm gonna she's punch my pro, face you know. again and again. I'm like, yeah. I, I just thought the, they didn't stick the ending to me. It's, Fine, but it is mine. <laughs> okay. Shang Chi. Shang Chi is definitely up there for me as well. Yeah. Definitely. In fact, I would say uh, for me, it's definitely top three. Mm. Top three. Yes. Oh, I forgot that you mentioned three. The Eternals is on my top five. Yes. <laughs> you just made a case for why it wasn't. Now you're saying make, <laughs> now you're making the case for why it isn't your <laughs> top. I, I maybe just because I love Angelina Jolie and. Um, <laughs> See, this is the conviction she has. She doesn't actually remember, and she doesn't really think about it. It's just pure emotion. Like, oh, I like her Angela Jolie, so for that reason. And and who's the funny guy? You love the funny guy, yes. but you don't know his name. Yet it makes yes. your top. He's so funny. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he and Angelina Jolie is, you know brings out the best in that movie <laughs> all right well my other top five was uh fast and furious i really enjoyed that that nice. movie yes, was yes. just you know the perfect reason to go back to the theater in fact that i think that was the movie you said like you know what we're gonna go back to the theater again it was a long time and it was i couldn't have imagined seeing it any other way it had right. to be there over the top completely ridiculous uh, I didn't buy into them as brothers, but you know, it didn't even matter. At this point, I don't buy into any of the storylines. Like, it doesn't make an effing difference. They it's actually always... pulled off going to the effing moon. I'm like, that's been the joke since the last movie. Like, what are you gonna do to go to the moon? <laughs> they went to the moon. <laughs> Fuck that. And it was they good. did. And it was good. And they're flying. It was good. Uh... Yeah, that was that was good actually. Huh? That didn't go to my list. <laughs> and I always love Fast and Furious. I'm shocked it didn't make your top five. I know. I'm shocked either. All what right. else is in your top five? Shang Chi, baby. Of course. Of course. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I mean, here here's a movie right that uh, shouldn't have even been good. It's a third rate maybe fourth rate character i don't even read the comics don't even care for it and it's a stereotypical asian superhero what he has well he's got kung fu powers right but they made it work simu lee a great actor oh my god you talk about a dude who's like fits it perfectly this character in yeah. fact i would equate him to as be as good as like tom holland and like fitting the character like there are some people who play their character to a point where like you just believe he's that kind of person mm. shane chi Seemingly, it's like that kind of person. He's just got that character, that charisma. Going to be huge. Yeah. He totally yeah. nailed it. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Great guy. Just uh, oh my god. Just loves in the interviews with him afterwards. He's so real. And that's what I love yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, just a genuineness to him and in the way he plays the character and it yeah. comes across. And he puts so much effort to learn to to teach himself and everything. I mean, real life oh my god. Through. Holy moly. Yes. Now I mean look. All the other actors who played all the other like characters of the Marvel Universe, you know, they got to do their own stunts. Some of them, you know, maybe for twelve, maybe not. If you're pure CG like group, maybe not at all. But Shane Chi, man, you could tell he's straight up legit. How to learn how to yeah. fight? He was borderline Jackie Chan good. That's how yeah. good he was. So I can't believe how yeah, short Marvel, period seriously. of time though wow. how he, he trained himself. That's crazy. It, it, it was good. And, you know, the final nail in the, I don't want to say nail the coffin because that sounds bad, but, you know, the final cherry on top is Asian representation. Like, that, for that alone, I was like, oh, my God, I was so scared this was going to fail. Early signs of the movies indicate that it was kind of doing all right because people were scared to go back to the theater, right? I think when we went to watch it, the theater was not full. Yeah, and yeah. So I was concerned. I'm like, oh, no. I know. Don't, don't, like, I was so concerned it was going to bomb. Yeah. And uh, it didn't bomb. In fact, it perform way beyond expectation because word of mouth was so good people like blown away just like us so that's right had had to be up there had to be up there of course no question all right yeah now i actually have one i have two movies that be changed to change was my number three really yeah i have at least one movie really what is it I'm curious. I, I'm almost certain your number one movie is probably my number one movie but one movie that i know is not in your top five that for me had a emotional and sort of like, how would you say, hit me in a way that made me go like, made, made me think about it, which ah, is how I expected. I know it already. I know it already. The one that we just watched. <laughs> wow. Matrix, huh? Mm-hmm. Matrix. I know. It's very controversial, especially for the fans who probably love Dune. Like, how do you... <laughs> uh, the thing about the Matrix for me is like, I, you put aside the fact that you know, it's almost like they feel like they had to make the movie in order to cash in again. You put aside some of the iffy sort of storytelling. Um, the action wasn't as good as before either. It definitely does not beat out on the very first one. Maybe beat out on the second one and the third one. But the first one for me was such an eye-opening experience that this one was almost like same, same, like, kind of relived Lee, Neil's life. That's kind of how I would explain it. Mm. The shortest way I could like, summarize it is the first movie when I watched it, and I never watched a movie twice in a movie theater. Maybe Black Panther was the last one I did see. And the one before that was The Matrix. Mm-hmm. Because I had to go back and like, did I see what I just saw? Like, like, like whoa. And it woke me up. It really did actually wake me up. Like, am I trapped in this world just to live a good life? Or can I break free? Is there some better purpose to life? It kind of got me inspired 20 years ago when I started my career. Like, you know what? What's going to hold me back? Why let life hold you back? I am going to go for it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, considering I worked in video games and the digital world, I mean, that was it. I fully invested myself into the virtual world. So it was kind of that inspiration for me, that first movie. I mean, shoot, even my avatar, which you guys see on one of my channels here, is based on Neo plus, you know, (laughs) avatar character. Yeah, that's how much of an impact it was. But 20 years later, I kind of feel like Neo again. Mm. Settled into life. I got comfortable. And even today, I'm like, something feels missing in life. Like, I I feel very detached from it, as if, Mm. like, just going through the motions. Yeah. Because, you know, life's good enough. Make good money. Got a beautiful wife. I live in a house. Like, everything's great, but, like, something's missing and the movie woke me up again Mm. like are you so comfortable with the way your life is right now that you don't want to give it up for the thing that is uncertain are you so scared to risk what you have for Mm. something that is truly revelatory that made me wake up go like 2022 i'm going to wake myself up i'm gonna slap myself silly you're gonna take the red pill i'm gonna take the red pill i'm gonna freaking wake up finally so that was why it hit me that way of just seeing them go through that of like how easy it is to fall into the trap of like good enough right 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 and if you are self-aware enough like nah something's not right you should deal with it don't just accept the what the psychiatrist says what the pills say if you feel like your life was meant to be more you know that's why it hit me so it was up there for just for that reason wow okay 
so personal. It was a very personal movie for that. Right. That's 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 why. So right. I don't think many people agree with like they would rank yeah. it that high, but yeah. It was a good movie. It hit for John. It hit, it hit me hard. <laughs> yeah. All right, number all one. Right. Okay, number one. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, one, go. two, it's three. Spider Man. Gotta be Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's let's be real here, right? Despite the sort of emotional awakening and, and the sort of like aha moment of the Matrix, despite the fact that an Asian superhero shouldn't have taken off, right? The reality is Spider-Man should have absolutely been a crappy movie trying to shoehorn in all these past characters, storylines, villains. Um, it was like, in my mind, should have been a, like chaos, pure <laughs> chaos. There's no way it could have worked. They made it work. They made it work. They made it yes. work where everyone who enjoyed the last couple of movies from like 20 years ago fell in love with these characters again um they they even were able to hide the fact that you know there were multiple spider-mans which you know i think if you're a true fan you kind of expected it but you never were quite sure because marvel hit as much as they could from yeah very absolutely impressive. very very impressive i did not get any of that although you like you said you know you kind of have a an idea if you're a fan you kind of knew it was gonna go there yeah but uh, still, nonetheless, when you first saw it, you were like, oh, shit. No, it was just like a perfect Christmas movie that it, they were so full of gifts in that movie. You know, so Daredevil, full. my God, oh, my God. love. So many. Like, um, even if he was just there for seconds, I don't know. <laughs> but, oh, my God, I am a fan of Daredevil. So and, much uh, fan service. Now, the interesting question is, w would you rank this higher than like the finale of the Avengers Endgame? Because an Endgame was almost like fan service too. They tied together a million different things. It's, yeah. In your mind, it's like, True. there's no way this could work either. Yeah. Right. But they pulled it off and yeah. has such emotional weight, such great moments and scenes where people were up cheering. I mean, we saw that Spider-Man scene where the, you know, you know, Andrew Garfield started to come out. And then I the mean, fan reaction. It's this just insane. Crazy. Oh my God. I did not even expect that. And I'm like, I hear people already screaming. I knew it. I knew it. Like, what is it? What is it that they're, but it kind of have an idea, but I'm like, no. Oh my God. Oh so, my God. Spider-Man better than Endgame? I, I would still rank Endgame my number one. <laughs> <laughs> Never fail me. I, I get so emotional. Even talking about it. <laughs> oh my God. My Iron Man. <laughs> oh my God, see? It's I, okay, baby. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. okay to get emotional. <laughs> it, was, it was a touching movie in the end. Though. Yes. Uh, but Spider-Man, close second is maybe like second best movie of all time. Uh, seriously, from Marvel Universe. Yes, they did a great, great job. Great job. The great, emotional great, great weight. Job. Uh, I mean, there were so many surprises. I mean, beyond Daredevil, beyond the three yeah. uh, Spider-Mans, that whole Aunt May thing that like that was a shocker. And the twist about how she had to reveal like. You know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? Like that's how Spider Man turns from this kid to someone who feels like now I like the weight of the world is on my shoulders, like that responsibility, and mm -hmm. I, I always have to do good. Wow, that hit me from left field. I'm like, whoa! They can't, yeah. I can't believe they killed her like that. Like, and then the reset in the end, that shocker too. That of like, like f the sacrifice he eventually did yes. for that. And then the double shocker of the ending where he goes, tries to find his friends again and says, they are bettered off without me. Oh, it's the Spider-Man, what, luck? Mm. <laughs> they call it. The Spider-Man <laughs> luck, baby. Whoa, oh, yes, oh, it's the Spider-Man. That's, that's it's, just it's, kind it's of kind the root of, of his sad, character. It's but it, it is her, his life, it right? It is his life. Um, it is his life. Sacrificing everything just to save the whole world. Thanks, right, Spider-Man. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Marvel. Seriously. <laughs> Thanks, Marvel. Just, uh, amazing, 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 yeah. amazing. So there you go, guys. Those are our top 10 movies that we geeked out to. Uh, let us know what you think, what you thought should have been in this list. If your number one was Spider-Man or not, or something else broke it for you. Uh, love to hear what y'all think, man.